From the National Weather Service in Raleigh, it's Nick Petro with your routine weekly briefing for Central North Carolina, the Monday edition that covers uh, October 5th through the 11th. Basically, we're looking at weather right through this week and through Sunday next weekend. And uh, welcome to everybody who's joining us live at 1130. And uh, welcome to those who are watching us after the live version uh, on YouTube. And, and thanks so much. So real quick, I thought I would show um, current weather, um, kind of some neat stuff to look at. First of all, we have a huge area of high pressure right sitting right here, big high, and uh, circulation around highs are is clockwise. So, you know, we've gotten some nice cool air to come around from the north. Um, and certainly it's real pleasant outside. Those are current temperatures, uh, mid 60s. So just beautiful fall weather, clear skies. Um, this area of moisture has sort of been sitting there for days. Um, that's a deep plume of moisture. We got lucky uh, over the weekend and stayed out of that. Um, there was some uncertainty as to whether or not we were going to get involved in that moisture. But luckily, um, the high uh, kept most of that or all of that really uh, away from central North Carolina. So as we uh, pan to the south here, though, uh, this is going to be the main area of attention. So over the next few days, you could see uh, this swirl of clouds right, uh, let me get my pointer here, uh, my spotlight. This swirl of clouds right here, this is uh, Tropical Storm Gamma. And this uh, swirl of clouds down in the bottom middle, that is uh, Tropical Storm Delta. So Gamma is going to basically drift around to the west and southwest while um, uh, Delta lifts uh, off to the northwest. And I'll show that here in a slide uh, momentarily. So bear with me here while I switch the screens. Back to our slides. And here is what I, uh, the slide that uh, pretty much demonstrates what we're expecting. Gamma <clears throat> is in the lower right. And you can see it's basically not going to be a problem for, for us or for the U.S. Uh, looking at Tropical Storm Delta, that's the one just south of Jamaica. Uh, that one's going to move northwest and eventually make uh, a landfall as a hurricane early Friday, um, you know, just south of New Orleans there on the Louisiana coast. And then over the weekend, its remnants are going to lift north and northeast across the Carolinas. And, and certainly it'll weaken in terms of wind and, you know, just the, the wind threat will will diminish as we head through, you know, as it, after it makes landfalls, they always do. But there will be some rain left over with that. And the leftover rain is going to move across our area uh, as we head through the weekend. So that's going to be uh, what we'll be dealing with. I don't think it's going to be a, a lot of rain. I'll show that here shortly. But as we head through, uh, just real quick uh, to kind of get this out of the way, um, as we head through today and the midweek and even late week, look at the high. That high I showed earlier is just parked right over the east. And that's going to give us some beautiful fall October weather for October's really, if you think about it, it's some of our best weather. I, I would say our best weather year round uh, uh, in any part of the year is right here in October. I think, um, yeah, October offers usually the best weather unless there's a hurricane affecting us. <laughs> so, so usually what October gives us is either beautiful weather, comfortable weather, or hurricanes. So, uh, uh, but uh, but and, and we'll get a, a taste of. Uh, a little bit of both beautiful weather and tropical weather, although not a hurricane, but still some tropical weather as the remnants and leftover rain from Delta overspread central North Carolina over the weekend. And right now it looks like mainly occasional periods of rain. And you can see that in the late week slide down the lower left, you can see um, uh, Delta making landfall there in, uh, near New Orleans. And then over the upcoming weekend, the leftover low pressure moving across the Carolinas. So in terms of temperatures, they'll start off near normal today. Like I said, right now we're in the mid-60s, low to mid-60s, real comfortable out there. Uh, gradually rising to above normal as that high shifts right over and eventually to our south and east. So that'll uh, warm things up a little bit. We'll, we'll be seeing mid-80s by, uh, by midweek. And then back below normal this weekend due to the cloud coverage and rain chances. So uh, that's the way things are shaping up. In terms of how much rain from Delta late in the week, Again, uh, you can see today, Tuesday, Wednesday are all dry. Um, Thursday and Friday, um, that does not appear to be right. Um, although, uh, you know, that, that looks to be a little too fast. 
Um, let me, I'll, I'll take another look at that before I email the slides out. But certainly it looked like um, more like Saturday and Sunday would be when we get our rain um, from, from Delta. In fact, uh, that slide there in the lower left was not like that when I first built the slides. Um, so anyway, I'll take another look at that and, uh, and get, get back to you on that. Um, and uh, seven day total, you know, we're looking at about an inch or two of rain um, when the remnants of Delta move across central North Carolina over the weekend. All right. Dry weather through much of the work week. So the excessive rainfall outlook shows nothing over central North Carolina. No thunderstorms are in the forecast. So that's good for, for the work week. And then looking, uh, taking a peek towards the following week. Um, it looks like above normal temperatures and odds favor above normal precip for Central North Carolina as well. All right, so uh, pretty much a short and sweet briefing here for this Monday because we're going to see beautiful weather right through um, <clears throat> much of this work week. And then and then after that, it's just, you know, dealing with the remnants leftover rain from Delta. Right now, it looks like a weekend event, um, you know, perhaps maybe sneaking in here a little late in the week. Um, I'll, I'll, I'll double check that before emailing out the slide. So uh, there were hints in that previous slide I showed that maybe Friday could get here, but we'll see, um, perhaps an inch or two of rainfall. Um, so right now we're not expecting any major flood risks. We're not expecting, um, much of the models show it sort of coming in, in, in bands. Um, and, um, you know, you might recall the last uh, leftover event and the one before that, both sort of, um, sort of didn't produce the amount of rainfall that we were expecting. Um, you know, right now this one appears like that might be uh, an inch or two rainfall maker. And, and an inch or two we should be able to handle. It's when we get above three that we start to see risks in terms of, you know, uh, flash flooding and or subsequent river flooding. So obviously we'll keep an eye on that. And you'll want to join us on Thursday for our uh, Thursday update. Uh, right here, same time, same place, 1130, because obviously uh, it'll be on our doorstep by Thursday and we'll be uh, addressing uh, how much rain and, and what, if any, impacts uh, we will have to deal with. All right. So, again, uh, temperatures are going to warm up uh, midweek and then uh, fall back again as the rain uh, comes late in the week and weekend. All right, so uh, in terms of hazards and impacts, low impacts uh, right through this work week, and then uh, we'll be dealing with the rain this weekend um, from Delta. So look out for uh, wet roads, slow down, some heavy ponding and water and low spots collecting, some rises on area streams. So remember to slow down on wet roads to avoid hydroplaning. So, all right, so, um, you know, obviously as, as things evolve, we'll be sending out uh, briefing slides. I suspect, um, this won't be our only briefing until Thursday. I suspect we'll be sending out um, emails, uh, email briefings, and you'll check, you know, you'll want to check your email. Or if you're not on our email list, check out weather.gov slash Raleigh. There's a link to our e, uh, briefing slides um, uh, towards the bottom of the page as well. So, um, and then certainly our Thursday webinar, we will address in great detail how much rain we expect uh, with the remnants of Delta. So with that, I wish everybody a great week and uh, we'll see you again on Thursday morning.